Hi everybody, it's Brad with Big Family Homestead, and in this video I'm going to share with you six cool life hackish, homestead hackish, cool things you can do with tin foil, aluminum foil, foil. So let's get cracking. So living on a homestead, you've got to make the most of absolutely everything you have at your fingertips, and that goes for tin foil as well. So the scoop is this, basically I've got some tips for you, I'm gonna share them. Cool things you can do with aluminum foil, so let's go, here comes the first one right now. Number one, let's say that you're cleaning your pots and your pans and you've run out of scrubbies. Take a piece of tin foil, wad it up, like such, scrubby scrubby, there you go. Just don't use it on stuff like Teflon because this can probably take some of the Teflon off if you miss any, you might eat some and it's poison, so don't eat Teflon. Cool, scrubby. Number two, you can speed up your ironing efficiency. You know, your clothes ironing. A lot of the heat goes from the iron through your clothes, through the, the uh, cloth and, and into the ironing board. So you take a little piece of this, stick it between underneath the cloth of the ironing board, and this will reflect the heat back up, thus saving a lot of energy and saving you time because it helps you iron a lot quicker, keeps it hotter. Cool tip. Number three, you can use aluminum foil to sharpen your scissors. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna fold it nice and flat over a few times, good, you know, four, five, six times, like such, and then you're just gonna take and cut it, and it's gonna bring some zip back into your scissors. You're just gonna cut it just like that, you see? Keep cutting, keep cutting, keep cutting, and it is gonna make your scissors sharper than before, yeah. Okay, so we don't wanna be wasteful, so what's next up with the uh, formerly scissor sharpening action? You can take a piece of this stuff, just cut off a bit of it, and you can actually make a very effective fishing lure. Fish like shiny, shiny goes on the hook, the hook does not go through Brad's finger, the hook comes out just like a, such a one, wrap it on there a little better than that, the fish love it. It's irresistible to fishy fisheroos. All right, next up, let's say that you are painting, painting walls, painting your house, painting the night on the, no, 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 painting. But you're not done painting, but you want to keep your paintbrush nice and wet. You don't want it to dry out. Simply take some tin foil, aluminum foil, wrap it around that wet brush nice and tight, and it'll be wet the next time you go to use it the next day. Pretty cool. All right, and lastly but not leastly, let's say that you're grilling out and you want to have some of that delicious smoke flavor infused into your food. You, you want some of that smoke in the, in the, in the delightful barbecue-ness. Well, but you don't have a smoker box. That's not a problem. You can just take some tin foil, aluminum foil, double it up, fashion it into a box. You put your moistened chips in there, whether it's apple, wood, or whatever it is that you're gonna use, and then you poke some holes in the top, set this down in the heat. It will heat up. It will not burn the stuff inside, but the smoke will come out and flavor your food delightfully, deliciously, and there you have it. So there it is, folks. Cool uses for aluminum foil that you may not have thought of. Actually, if you have other ones, please put them down in the comments. I love finding out how other people are doing cool stuff. You know, double dipping, you know, aluminum foil can do this, this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. So anyway, please do share. It's greatly appreciated. Also, please share the video. That too is greatly appreciated. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and you guys have an amazing day.